Welcome back to Hearthstone Ranked. Test Season 4 ended. Now that's why there's been such a huge delay between the most recent episode of Ranked and now, because we got reset in the rankings, guys. We're now ranked 20 rather than rank... Uh, 14? 15? 16? Something. We left off on, I think, Raid Leader, whatever that rank is. But we're going to be going back into the ranks. Now, there's a bunch of different things we could do. I think we'll go with what we face most, what would be the best counter deck to what we end up facing the most. But just to start off... Oh, whoa, that's casual. Nope. Just to start off, we'll start with Shaman. Just because I really think the Shaman's kind of fun. Ah, uh, he's so good. Just flame tongue and then and then like attack and then you do damage oh that's a fun part too when you do the damage now I'm thinking about running one of Trump's earlier iterations of this deck where he had a few charge creatures in it because you can put them in under a flame tongue totem after you've attacked with whatever's next to the flame tongue totem and get an extra two damage out of it that way um all of these are going back I have early drops in this deck Oh, hey, I'm versing an angry chicken. Stoneforge Dax. Yes. Such a value card. He threw back his whole hand as well, so... It's likely he doesn't even have any good drops. One really cool thing about having Stormforged Axe and Rockbiter weapon is that uh, as soon as he plays his first Tazdingo on turn 4, I'll kill it. So next turn, I do have the option of Stormforged Axe or Flame Tongue Totem. Or, you know. Wanna blow something up? <laughs> eh, fair enough. Hmm. Uh, so if I Stormforged Axe that, I'll still have three mana left next turn. Which is a Flame Tongue Totem and a Rock Biter. But if I Rock Bite it, I'll have four mana next turn. Which means that I can do the Stoneforged Axe and the Flame Tongue. Hmm. What to do? But the Rock Biter is 3 damage and the Stoneforged Axe is 2. That's ultimately my decision making here. That I don't waste damage even if I do waste mana. With this permutation of the play. So... Just play another 3-2, if you could. Please, buddy. Be a pal. Thank you for being a friend. Uh, or, what coin now? out Tazdingo. Love to eat a Tazdingo. Taz delicious. Come on. Chop chop. Coin, Tazdingo. Tazdingo. Has bingo at all? Boo. More Taz Dingo, less Stormwind Charge. Well, actually, at the moment, no Taz Dingo. Oh, God. Hopefully, none of you are aware of the show that that's an inadvertent reference to. Uh, so, next turn, our overload clears up. Looks like we're going to be playing an Azure Drake. Hopefully, whatever he plays only has three health, so we can, you know, sack our totem and uh, run our face into it to clear it off the board and then just have a 4-4. And an extra card on top of him. Wanna blow something up? <laughs> wow. That's to make up, with the, uh, make up for the RNG first man bomber did to him. Oh well, at least I still get another value swing out of my Stormforged Axe. Elements guide me. Okie dokie. Now the dream here is that he populates the board. He just puts a lot of really small dudes down and then I lightning storm and I laugh maniacally. <laughs> that doesn't look like the dream is true. The dream is not real. 
Alright, so I'm thinking Argent Commander just because it doesn't break his Divine Shield. And I can then Azure Drake and Totemic Call next turn. Or I can even put a Flame Tongue Totem next to my Divine Shield man. Truth is my shield. Hex! Okay, so now that we've hexed it, zero damage. Um, it looks like it's gonna be a totem and then flame tongue. Yep. Victory! It's not urgent to me to get through and start doing that damage. Because as a warrior, he doesn't really have like straight up removal. He's just got, oh, do damage and then do more damage. So he's going to have to use two cards or the value of two cards to kill my Argent Commander at any one time. Yes! Pretty good result. Unless he's got a slam, in which case, fuck. Pretty bad result. I'm very likely to use the Defender of Argus to buff up the Argent Commander next turn after the Argent Commander is attacked. I wonder. Reason being, of course, because the Defender of Argus would be placed here between Flame Tongue and the Argent Commander. So I would ultimately lose one damage if I were to do it first, because he wouldn't have the Flame Tongue buff. The Flame Tongue buff would be given to a Defender of Argus, which has summoning sickness. Oh, well, that's not even a thing anymore. Another cleave? Another cleave? Really? That's oh, not another cleave. Well, Earthshock the Dream is about to happen. Wow. We're just getting such good responses to everything he wants to do. So, Earthshock is amazing against some cards. The Loot Hoarder it's amazing against. Uh, stops its death rattle effect, but other cards that it's really amazing against are ones that you want to silence and then do damage to. So the ones you want to remove a divine shield from and then do one damage, you know, like the Scarlet Crusader. It's perfect because the Scarlet the Crusader, Crusader usually goes two for one, but now it we goes nothing. Ha ha ha! Oh. So, if I... Into the breach. If I sack that, I can Lightning Storm. If that's a mana... Sorry, Ed, no. If it was a... What's the name of that totem? Um, Wrath of Air. If it was a Wrath of Air totem, uh, I'd consider using the Lightning Bolt. But ultimately, next turn I have Azure Drake, another turn for a Totem, and then a uh, Lightning Bolt. So I could even get out a 5 damage Lightning Bolt. And at the same time, buff up my Unbound Elemental. This is looking pretty good for us, guys. Pretty damn good. Whirlwind? Ah. See, he has to use the value of 2 cards to take it out. Okay. Okay, then. Ah, another lightning bolt. Hang on. Ah, that's lethal. Unbound elemental. Yes. We didn't even get a feral spirits that game, and feral spirits are usually one of the biggest core pieces of this deck. God, we're still in the shield there. It's, it's here. Oh. Oh, I don't like it at all. Now. We're two wins out of 500 wins to get a golden hero portrait. We're on our way, guys. The journey of a thousand steps starts with a single one. Journey of a thousand miles. Journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step. Or the journey of 500 wins starts with two. Whatever permutation of that you want to go with, it's completely fine by me. I'm going to throw all of this back again. 
while it's got a 2, 3, 4, 5, the 2 is only good when it's put next to other things. The 3 requires you to use over <laughs> overload things so that it's actually use uh, useful. The Defender of Argus needs to be put next to other things. The Azure Drake's pretty good, but it's too late. Because it's not being ramped into by those weak fucking ramp cards. Um... Not particularly happy about that. So, next turn I can Stormforge the Axe, but then the turn after I'll only have two mana, so I'll have to coin out. Yep, yeah, okay. No, I have decided I'm amazed that he played the Acidic Swamp Boost so quickly, considering that I could do it with the Stormforge Axe. So, next turn I'll have two mana, I'll coin out the Feral Spirits, and then coining out the Feral Spirits means that. Hang on. I'll have two mana the turn after as well. Darn. Okay. Still my play? Still my play. <sighs> I don't want them to die because I want them to be there to protect my mana tide totem. But then again, as a rogue, he could probably backstab the mana tide totem and then hit it with a shiv or something stupid like that. Or especially could. Oh! I don't like that at all. This is quite crude, if you ask me. It's not a good start, guys. Not a good start at all. We overloaded ourselves, and we didn't really get any value out of it. Alright. I hate to do that deal one damage, but... I need to take care of that board. So next turn is probably going to be ours, your Drake, for the draw. Try and get ourselves into a better position, and then hopefully he plays something with say king. three health at most, and then we can kill it with the fire elemental. So that worked. He played something with three health at most. That was good. Oh god. Hex. I need a hex. It's not a hex. I'm not really sure what can save me here. Um, if he leaves my Azure Drake alive, I can give it a Rock Biter and I can run it in, or I can use the Fire Elemental and I can still run my Azure Drake in. Hmm. Oh, hey, now I get to draw another card. Awesome. Thanks. Yeah, we probably lost. <laughs> Just being realistic. You know what? Just to save myself from taking damage, I will play the Manatide Totem. Because now I'll have to do two damage to it there, and then hit it with the Dagger Mastery in order to remove it. Unless, of course, he just has, you know, Sinister Strike, Sinister never Strike, know what hit him. just some stupid stuff. So it didn't really stop me taking any damage at all, because Backstab can only be used on minions, so instead it just drew out a Backstab. Right, well, I need the Wrath of Air Totem. I'm pretty sure we've lost. <laughs> yep. Yeah, this one's over. Uh, we needed the Wrath of Air Totem. We didn't get the Wrath of Air Totem because we didn't have the Wrath of Air Totem. We lost the game. Fuck. And the Iron Fur Grizzly was really good for him. Took out half of my Feral Spirits while I was still overloaded and required me to use a Rock Biter to deal with it. Stop with the slow play. Why are you killing things you don't even need? You're just trying to posture on the board. It's bullshit. God 
damn it, that was rough. At the very least, with three minions, I'll have destroyed them all. And that's the important thing. You know, when I know I'm going to lose the game, I probably should just destroy minions. You know, just to have gotten myself closer to that, I probably could have destroyed another three minions in that game. No, I would have gotten another one. I would have been able to kill the frog that I created with Hex. But nothing much else. Brawl versus Brawl. My cold is clearing up. Yay! I should tell my voice that, though. Destroy you. Uh, I still need early cards. I kind of want to keep the Earth Shock just in case he has, like, a loot hoarder or something like that. Hmm. Okay, so... A weird thing here is turn two, I don't want to Acidic Swamp Booze. I want a Totem just in case... Just to try and bait out a Stormforged Axe if he has one. A Wrath of Air. That's not horrible, because then, yeah, I can Totem and Earth Shock if I'm actually scared of whatever he plays. Um, I'll do that. Leaves me with a 2-1 on the field. Yeah. Uh, Feral Spirits. That'd be pretty sad to see. Feral Spirits, go for it. It's got 8 cards out of a 30 card deck. I wonder. 2 Feral Spirits in most of them. Do it, Feral Spirits. Ah. Trixie little bastard. Well, we're still at a card for card, so it's fine. So, at what point do I believe him and go, oh, Fine, I'll play my Acidic Swamp Boost. At what point do I do that? Destroy you. Um... Greetings, yeah, I'll greet him in response to that. Sorry that happened. Uh, I thank you. I'll thank him for his apologies. That's fine. Well played. Thank I you again. Thank you. Right, so for mana, what's the most devastating thing you could do? Probably lightning storm and get some real good RNG. Remove both the spirit wolves. I wonder. Past that, I'm probably... If he manages to play things with... Three health! Yes! I'm likely to Defender of Argus in this situation. Oh shit, I can't, lol. I uh, just remembered. Um, okay, so Rock Bite myself. Mm-hmm. And then wipe the board. And the totem. Uh, I really would have liked a healing totem. You know, get our Wrath of Air and our Spirit Wolf just up a bit. Right, so. Next turn, we do have the Defender of Argus. Hmm, do we hex a Tazdingo? Is that the plays? Do we hex a Tazdingo? I think we do. Totem. That. Oh, healing totem. Glad to see you, buddy. Really glad to see you. So now a lightning storm is not necessarily going to kill Spirit Wolf. Number two. But it's still likely to. Because it's RNG being used against me. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So I can hit that with my face, but that doesn't really help me. My face, the Searing Totem, and Earthshock will kill it, but that's... Oh. What else kills it? Mm. Mm. What to do? Um... Oh, that does. Hang on. And then I have one mana left over for totems. Awesome. So I Defender of Argus. 
Do I want to hit with my face or the Earth Shock? I think I need to save the Earth Shock, so I will hit with my face. Elements guide me. Which does not leave me enough left for the totem, I understand that. But it's okay. We still maintain board control and we still have uh, moderate card advantage. There it is! Good to see you, Swampoos. Knew it was gonna happen at some point. For the same reason I haven't played my city, Swampoos. My eyes are open. Right. Um. Oh. That's nice. So, hang on. Hang on, let me think about this for a second. Um, hmm. yes. I positioned this fucking flame tongue so poorly. Yeah, I have to. Alright. There we go. That's that's pretty good. Ultimately. Now I left the healing totem because I don't really think there's anything he can do with it. I think it's very unlikely that he manages to get any decent value out of having a healing totem on the board. Aw oh, man! Kill him a junk. So the Gadgets and Auctioneer is going out because I can draw two cards with the Earth Shocks. Uh, I'd really like the Wrath of Air Totem. It's a shame. Right. Done. We do still have the ability to draw cards, and we'd like to see either of our flame elementals. We'd like to see the unbound elementals. It's just a lot of things we'd like to see. If he's going to play anything, let it be like a manatide or something that I want to silence. So that I can justify the use of the Earth Shock earlier. And, you know. Come on! Give me a Wrath of Air so that I can use the Earth Shock to kill Knife Juggler. That was the wrong order as well. He should have put out the Knife Juggler first and then hit the Stone Core Totem. I wonder. It's just a free damage he missed. Hmm. Argent Squire. Yeah. Yeah, Argent Squire. Um, do I want to pop my Divine Shield, or do I want my Gadgets and Auctioneer on lower health? It's three versus two. No, I'll pop my Divine Shields. Now, it doesn't look like he has the immediate ability to deal with anything, because he didn't remove the Gadgets and Auctioneer. So we'll play my Lightning. My Lightning Bolt, my Manatide Totem, which drew me a Lightning Bolt. Those are the words I'm looking for. So, 10 mana. What are you. What did you hold off with 5 mana? Ah, oh, shit. Yeah. Whenever you're looking for a totem, it's always the wrath of air. It's always the problem. Uh, Lightning Storm. That'd be pretty funny and it'd show me, right? For letting this guy lose his Divine Shield. Ah! 
Feel the power. Oh, nice. So you can wipe out both of them. It's a very powerful turn. You know, I'm going to keep the other one in my hands. Uh, that plays around the possibility of a lightning storm, but secondly, it also plays around the possibility that he has a doom hammer. Because when you're in top deck wars, that's the time to play a doom hammer. Because a doom hammer in top deck wars is 16 damage straight to the face. That's even better than a pyroblast. What are you looking at? Oh, God. Um, I need f a four damage hit on the Boulder Fist Ogre. All right. We're in a decent position. Unless he has very big cards left over. In which case, I still haven't drawn any, absolutely any of my flame elementals. Fire elementals, whatever they're called. I haven't drawn them. Earthshock, awesome. I don't want him drawing card. Perfect situation for Earthshock. We must cleanse the Sunwell. Oh, and it's got two. Oh, damn. Could have had two. Thank you, Fire Elemental. You came not a moment too soon. So at this point, it's top deck wars until the end of the game, because I'm not going to let him draw any cards. Uh, I think you'll find they'll heal up. That was a mistake. Yes, it was. How do I say yes, it was? Uh, so totem. I'm really glad to have gotten the Taunt Totem, because now it looks like he can only do that and can't actually kill my Flame Elemental. Heal them all up. Lightning Storm is a problem. Lightning Storm is not a real problem. It doesn't exist. Uh, oh, thank you. Wasn't a taunt totem. That's a shame. You know, I will play the use because I think I'm playing around something that's not going to happen. So if he wants to kill the fire elemental, which he does, Shattered Sun Cleric and the Searing Totem have to do it. Uh, I think I've only played one of my Stormforged Axes. Hmm. to keep it? You know what? I'll keep the lightning bolt back, actually. Yeah, I'll definitely keep the lightning bolt back, just in case he plays something with, you know, four health. I think it's a waste to use it on the Acidic Swamp Boost. Especially when the Acidic Swamp Boost is being blocked by the Stoneclaw Totem. If the Acidic Swamp Boost wasn't being blocked by the Stoneclaw Totem and could wipe out my Acidic Swamp Boost, then I would have considered the light. The sun well. Huh? Uh, lightning storm? Have I got another one left? Unbound elemental. Oh, this is a perfect time for the. Uh, that wasn't the taunt totem. Oh well. It's fine. We've got a 3-5 on the field. And he's not got a 3-5 on the field, so that's good. Value. Uh, unfortunately, his Wrath of Air totem is now, like, warlike. So it can hit my totems and survive. Yeah, that's still not going to kill my Unbound Elemental. It was a good draw, though. Mm. Ah! Yes! So good.
so glad to see the Stormforge Dax. I know he's played two Acidic Swamp Boozers, because one of them countered my Acidic Swamp, uh, my Stormforge Dax before, and the other one was on the board, and I killed it. So, what would change the pace of this game for him? A Hex would definitely change the pace of this game. Face. Yeah, I think I can afford to lose health. So I'll be hitting that one. Alright. I feel pretty comfortable at this point to say that we've probably won. Well played. Uh thanks. I thank you. This game is going forever, unfortunately. Oh, hey, it's your Drake. Really nice to see you. Oh, feral spirits. Oh, this is so evil. Elements guide me. I'll take out that so that the lightning storm possibility isn't so bad. Victory! And then considering I have two taunts off, I'll just attack to the face. I don't really want to trade my taunts. Uh, sorry, my taunts. I don't really want to trade health for any of them. Oh, hey, clear out both my taunts. Okay. Um, oh, I am getting the best top decks here. Oh, I should have killed the Stone Core Totem first. I definitely should have killed the Stone Cold Turtle first. I'm gonna say we can make two damage. On my Azure Drake. But at the same time, it doesn't look like the Azure Drake is in any danger from having taken that. Uh, another Unbound Elemental, just because I needed it. Um, okay, so lowest amount of damage. Done. Now we only got three games in, but we won two of them. We lost one. So, I think we've got one more star than we had previously. And we finished a quest and we got 10 gold for three wins. Oh, look at all these benefits. That's been Trump Shaman. It's also been Hearthstone Arena. I've been Rhapsody and hopefully you've been enjoying yourself. See you next time.